In order to access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry, channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their M.O. What are you talking about? I want dead set gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. You think I join you? I'm not sure you've been paying attention. Zero day? No, I mean... central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Weird, what? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Any ideas? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. to the server. Any ideas? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. So we're basically unplugging it and putting it back in. All right then. Close enough. Shit. 
sides. Look around! No stone unturned! Stupid drone, this isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. Could you shoot this drone down? I'm asking for lightning to go away, but I'm afraid I don't speak dipshit. You look at this! A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bombs were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable, I'm motion sick. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report for two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the secretary. This microwave drone has been hanging around so long I've given her a name. I'd like you to meet Ada. Would you mind killing her? Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail? And that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. Here, straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little side ops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it.
independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Well done, Buckley. Now let's find Malik before he can do any more damage. With pleasure. with filament and it seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks I believe I can trace his position get it done all right let's find you too old too young too ugly too female ah there he is hello Malik you've been disconnected is it just me or does he look constipated Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Oi, what the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't Fuck. exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Admiral with Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear DedSec's name. At least for this particular thing. What about Malik? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Right, so what's so wrong with driving that car straight into the Thames? Believe me, I'd love to, but he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just. Don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. Get to that book I've been meaning to read. Hey, look, they're talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. Show me. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the document. Listen, Malik, we know you're responsible for the embassy and the bombings before that, too. That is not in question. 
confess, and we can be done with this. The earlier bombings, what are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. You knew about Zero Day before contacting us. How do you explain that? I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? Even if what you say is true, it doesn't absolve you of anything. You're not a good man, Malik. You deserve to rat in here. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. What's good, Chief? I'm sorry for not being at IRL, but there's no way I'm coming out of my hidey hole. But I'll keep an encrypted connection open to your safe house. I was having a chat with your mate, Richard Malik, Just a former SIRS agent and a former Albion drone talking shop. Anyway, he pointed me to this audio recording. You should give it a listen. Could be something big. Let me hear it. And when you got a moment, Give Malik a smack across the chops for me, will you? What the hell do you mean there's no open investigation? Are you the police or not? We are, and I mean it exactly the way it sounds. My friend was a journalist. She was working on a story about sirs kidnapping people off the street, and then she goes missing. You don't find that the slightest bit suspicious? Look... The decision not to investigate happened way, way over my pay grade. Do you understand? Way over. You're fucking in on it! Jesus Christ! I'm hanging up. And I'm recording this. The journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS. And seeing as they've taken 1984 letters a dire warning and more as an instruction book, she may be in trouble. She needs our help. Absolutely. Let's do it. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet. What is going on? They'll never know what Fuck. These buildings are built. been monitoring the drone network. Mary Kelly has finally sent out the invitations to her slave market sale. Dead sec. It's Caitlin Lau. This is your specialty. Hack one of those drones and get the location where she's selling those poor microchipped people. Let's put an end to this. Sweep the area! Drone, begin a search. 
search. simple, even for you. Give me a moment to decipher the security codes. So, Bagley, what do you have? Mary Kelly is holding her sale at Hackney Baths. Opened in 1904, it was, as the name implies, a public sanitation facility. In today's more enlightened modern times, it's a slave trading market. She mentioned foreign investors, so this is big. It means associates, clients, employees, anyone remotely involved in her organization. We're taking Mary Kelly down from within. Inspector Lau wants to take her case against Mary Kelly to a contact in the Attorney General's office, which means gathering as much data as we can to make sure it has the leverage needed for them to prosecute. The microchips are a huge part of this equation that we know almost nothing about. We need something tangible about these things. See if you can find anything. Blueprints, receipts, samples. So, the plan is simple. Crash the Kelly's soiree, find out as much as you can, and, minor detail, try not to get killed. Can't be too careful at the bath team. Mary can kill all her captives with the push of a button. Beat you to death just for a laugh. Oh, no, no, no. All units, possible suspect or suspects, reported near your location. Monitoring for unusual activity. There's our suspect. We are unsighted of suspects. Over. You realize you could have killed me! Terminating the search. Control. Put out an APW. Never hurt anyone.
What now? Don't just blunder in. Hack the building's CTOS hub and see what to expect once you're inside. Terrific idea. Get all the names, places, dates, whatever information you can in there. We need to build this case. And find a way to free those people. I'll see what else I can find. Hey, no one's here yet. Good thing, too. The champagne's late. And you know how these rich bastards like free blanc. We end up the teeth with it. Yeah, products primed and ready for sale. No worries. Nah, she ain't. Not for this lot, at least, which is fine with me. She's the boss and all, but, uh, exactly. <laughs> Always on eggshells when she's around. Oh, bound to be bloody, too. <laughs>
come on, look at the camera. Straight. Right, that's good. Stand up now. And slowly turn around. I, I, I don't want to do this, please. Get your fucking ass up. Fucking miserable. There's no way this bastard will sell. The buyers expect high quality stuff. All right then, get him downstairs. We'll update the catalogue and put his stats no, online. No, I'm sorry. I'll do what you say. <gasps> Don't take me there, no! Shut the fuck up! Damn. What in God's name? Let's get moving then. Chances are good the basement will be locked. Chances are equally good that one of these knobheads left their access code laying around somewhere. For the cellar key, knobhead. Brilliant. Slave owners, monsters, foul, seeping human shits. I'll kill you, and you, and I'll guard you, and I'll have your head on a spike. Keep your head. If we try anything before disabling the microchips, Mary Kelly is liable to perjure her inventory. Kelly's Lance of Cornea. The Golden Goose offers a full range of merchandise, sourced free mortem from the healthiest staff. Enjoying. <laughs> 
So Mary's Golden Goose is an online shop. A shop. But instead of bread and milk, you're buying human slaves, organs, guns, and whatever else is on the psychopath's shopping list. This insanity has to be stopped. I suggest washing your hands after this. Well, here's something interesting. Every penny, love. Must admit, I thought you were some trolls chatting shit in Mum's basement. And what do you think now? I think you were well funded. And my organisation could be implicated in something quite ghastly. I think the price just doubled. True to your reputation. But we can offer you something more valuable than money. <laughs> What's that then? Power. We can make you the Queen of London. Queen, eh? A queen is sovereign. Autonomous. Unchecked. Release our shipment, and London will be yours to rule. Oh, I know a good deal when I hear one. Fireworks are on the way. Careful you don't burn yourselves now. Ah, this is the nail in her coffin. Mary Kelly supplied the explosives for the bombings. Add that to the slaves and the organ market. She is done. That's an interesting turn of events. So Mary isn't Zero Day, but she's involved. I have to admit, Zero Day's plan to cover their tracks was clever, and it worked. Even I didn't suspect this, and I suspect a lot of things. Let's not lose sight of what we're doing here. We need everything on the Golden Goose for Caitlin's case. Bagley, were you able to recover any data? This is a simple market site. I've recovered inventory lists, but not much that will help Inspector Lau's case. Bagley, we need to find the Golden Goose's servers. We can pull the information Caitlin needs and shut this thing down before it fully launches. I'd love to, but the servers are rudely jumping all over the world. They're probably using a shuffle protocol and some kind of mix net. I can work it out, obviously, but it will take me a few days. The host bloke upstairs, offensively cheery fellow, seems to be running all this. Could save us some time.
spot. Time for a lockdown. I'm going to keep looking. They must be here somewhere. It's here. We just have to find them.
good instincts. I've got coordinates for the Golden Goose servers, and as a bonus, the microchip control relay. Both are at NeoGate. Well done, young man. Sec. We need that server data. Once we have it, I'll take it to the Attorney General's office. Mary Kelly is going down for all of this. We have the chance now to shut down the servers and the microchip control relay. It'll free everyone who's been chipped. We have to do it. Next stop, NeoGate. It seems Mary hit the Golden Goose service in the heart of a cybersecurity software company. I don't condone her actions, but I must applaud the method. to recruit for you. I'll mark them on your map. I'm here. Neogate hasn't been around for long, but they're leading the antivirus market. I bet the Kellys have something to do with this growing success. Regardless, we're about to destroy all of it. Listen, I want that as bad as you do. But let's gather all the evidence we can before blowing it up. This is what we've been chasing after this whole time. I suggest hacking the camera network to see what's what.
struggle, the longer the search. Degenerate! Look at this man. Want a picture? Fuck off, Ben. They automate next.
These feeds are from a sub-basement under the server room. Anyone up for some light entertainment? You see, it contains a chemical cocktail. Botulinum, conotoxin, succinacholine. Well, why are you going with the specifics if you wouldn't even understand? Let's just say it took a lot of trial and error to get the mix right. Wouldn't want to kill him too quickly or contaminate the organs. Oh my god.